lot of things going on the deadbolt today. First thing we're gonna replace is these axles. Then we're gonna put the brass diff covers on, brass steering knuckles, brass wheel weights with extenders, going with the trail bead locks, with the RC four wheel drive rock locks. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna replace these stock plastic axles. These are like a budget brand. They're the RZXYL RC, but I got them because I saw them in another video. Somebody else put these on and they look pretty good. And when I got them, looking at them, the machining on them is actually really good. Some of the budget ones, the machining looks a little rough but these are pretty smooth. So let's start by taking these axles off. Next thing we want to do is take apart these axles. We'll get rid of this drive shaft and we'll take off these steering knuckles. And the last thing we're going to do is take the diff apart. You have to take the cover off and then take out everything inside. So there's the worm gear, there's the bearing inside here. Pull this gear out and that's it out of the front axle. You have to take the bearing out of the diff cover So for a little weight comparison, I'm going to weigh the stock plastic housing, axle housing there. I want to see just how much heavier this axle housing is. So the stock plastic weighs 3 grams and the aluminum weighs 15. So you gain 12 grams of weight just from the housing alone. And I'm also adding the brass steering knuckles and the brass diff cover so this is going to add a lot of weight let's put this all back together we have to put the bearings in on the sides here the pinion gear for the worm gear right in the middle we have to slip these axles in the side and then we're going to put that brass diff cover on you see how this gear is slotted when you slip the axles through the housing they lock in right like that Let's see in grams how much the stock diff cover weighs. It might not even register. So it's less than one gram. So let's see how much the Treal diff cover, it weighs 10 grams. So let's just say this weighs one, we add nine more grams. So we're at 21 grams of added weight just from the diff cover and the axle housing. Okay, so next we are gonna put the steering knuckles on. So we have to take these out and we have to take the bearings out as well. We're not gonna need this because we're gonna be putting the brass ones on. So another weight comparison, let's do the stock steering knuckles and it doesn't even show up on the scale. So let's just call it one for one gram. So then let's put these trail brass steering knuckles. Wow, 21 grams. So that is a huge increase from these. But I do need these little sleeves here and then these four little screws. So these 
these holes don't exactly line up with the axles. So I'm just gonna ream it just a little bit. So we got the front all done now. So now we're gonna swap the rear axle and then get both of these back on the deadbolt. To do another weight comparison i have the stock rear housing it shows as four grams now let's put the aluminum how much did we gain 17 we gained 13 grams of weight for the rear so it's pretty similar to the front axle you put your bearings in you put your drive gear in the drive gear like i said is slotted and these axles fit right in that slot there. So both of them are back together. Everything's aluminum and brass now. I don't have to show you how to put them back on the deadbolt. If you took them off, you know how to put them back on. So I'm gonna put these on right now. All right, the axles are back on. I have all the links put on. Everything is back the way it was. This is really feeling heavy. It looks so good with all the trail stuff on. So in the next video, we'll put on the wheel weights the trio bead locks, and then the RC four-wheel drive rock locks tires. But thanks for watching this video on the upgrade of the deadbolt. With the aluminum axles and the brass steering knuckles, 